just driving like he's on a rail completely uh total unstop yes he's driving his race and he's good in that <coughs> and he's good in that he's, he's one of the best players there is 8.4 second lead now uh, one of the most dominant displays so far this year after his display in Denmark was pretty awesome when he won that race uh, taking the lead at the end of the first lap and never looking back uh, Pavlinho's race in, um, in uh, the European Grand Prix was pretty good too uh, Eddie put on a dominant display in the British Grand Prix but that was only after Dede had a disconnection issue uh, of course the first race was incredibly competitive and here is Pavlinho uh, just trying to pass the lap cars having no real troubles seems, although heavening, ooh heavening, still hasn't got the message perhaps, <laughs> oh and um, is that whiplash getting in the way a little bit, didn't look like he meant to, but um, looks like he got in the way of Pavlino a little bit, doesn't really matter considering he's got such a massive gap back to fourth place, here is Mike Nike in fifth place, um, Lawrence is still just behind, so they're staying close together but they're not really looking like that either one is going to a uh, get side by side with each other really. That's the thing, doesn't like you can really close up that gap and might not so if you run wide there. Here's uh Kilkariki coming out of the pits, coming out behind Pingu. Um so he's got to try and use these new tyres over the last four laps to catch him. Oh Shaitan, who is a lapped car, beefing him a little bit. Oh dear Shaitan, get out of the way. Uh, perhaps he didn't know that he was a lap up on him. And Lawrence still tried to close the gap on uh Mike Knight for fifth place then Emil driving solidly to the fourth position. Lance looks like he is closing the gap doesn't he? Yeah he still has time for laps. Yeah still has uh, four laps which is enough time to pass. But uh, then Mike seems to open it again and uh, look at this dead A leading the train of lapped cars 7.8 second lead still just uh, keeping it solid and ooh, is that a uh, Yep, that's Kokariki on the new tyres going past Denny a little bit roughly, I have to say, considering he's the leader. But um, he does have newer tyres on him, so it kind of sucks to just sit behind him too, considering he has to get away from uh, trying to get away from the guys behind him and try and catch up Pingu. Here's Lex, who's been caught by Shy Guy, who made that um, late pit stop too, so Shy Guy has much newer tyres than Lex too. Um, so that could be an exciting battle in the final race, final laps. And oh, Lex makes a mistake too. Lex makes a mistake and now Shy Guy's right up to him. So this could be an interesting battle perhaps uh, for the ninth position, is it? Um, and we'll see now. <laughs> so, you know, even if there's not many battles up, up front in the field, uh, these are having some battles a bit further down. It's for the tenth position. And uh, there's Eddie just in the background about to lap these guys. That could interfere in their battle too. Um, but it seems even though Shy Guy... Oh, and Lex makes another mistake. Shy Guy's going to get close to him. Oh, he's uh -oh. far too much on the throttle out of that corner and went wide and lost uh, lost some time. It allowed Eddie to get past him, and Eddie's still got to lap Lex. But if Lex is intelligent, Lex will let him by cleanly and uh, not lose too much time. Here's Dede still following behind um, Kilkariki. He hasn't really pulled away enough to really um, justify that, that rough overtake on the leader. And in fact, he's gone wide, and Dede takes the position back. I expect that you'll be glad of seeing some other cars after spending the whole race uh, all by himself up front. And there's Dell in front of him, uh, so Dell's still driving around, but shortly after the evidence has been checked, uh, something's going to happen to him and probably get uh, points disallowed for this race, is my guess. And uh, I think can't be much less than a fan from the F1 League, at least for this season. And Kariki uh, <laughs> <laughs> passes him again. Brilliant. Fantastic uh, from Kokoriki. But Pingu's driving solidly uh, in the seventh position, which is good for him. About where he wants to be. Uh, the real surprise of this race has to be Etmil, challenged for second in the early laps, qualified third, and now driving a solid four. Real surprising in this race. Um, and here is Dede then on the final lap. An incredible drive from him. Uh, absolutely dominating win like we saw in Denmark. Dede is back to form. Dede rounds turn 19 and wins the Argentinian Grand Prix. Fantastic drive. Uh, 
his teammate comes through second. It's a plus team 1 2, exactly what they needed in the Constructors Championship. Yeah, in his home, it's really good uh, drive from him uh, after his win last week at Mill. Fantastic drive to fourth position. Mike Knight comes through fifth. And uh, Lance will round out in the sixth position. Uh, Pingu drive in to a solid 7th place to work from him uh, Kilkariki back there in 8th uh, the battle for the other positions was decided uh, Lex kept in front of Shy Guy but only by a little bit we heard there was some touch in there we'll see a replay of that surely soon uh, here it is um, so Shy Guy right on him as this is the final lap here uh, Shy Guy going to have a look at him and oh a little touch he shoved him wide that wasn't good, that wasn't good, Shy Guy should probably let him pass, do you think? Uh, Lex, Lex, sorry, he's not happy. Uh, I will. Oh, Shy Guy lets him pass. Good, good gentleman rules from him, probably. Uh, maybe he didn't need to, I'm not sure quite. It looked like a bit 50 50 uh, Average lap time of 40.9 seconds, including pit stops. Awesome, that day. Lovely win, mate. Grazie, 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 grazie. So the team very happy with Dede after his fantastic win. Uh, let's move on to another new feature for Silas TV, the post-race analysis, so we can have a look back at key moments from the race and um, remind you of just what happened, although in this race you have to say the answer is not much. Uh, <laughs> Dede got a good start. Uh, yeah, into the first corner, sir. Yeah, certainly. Um, here it is in slow motion. You can see the getaway. Um, Pavlino got a good start, but maybe he carried the extra speed into turn one. And um, yeah, you're right. He did go a bit wide, and um, Etmil had a go at him into turn two. Uh, but things might work out. See Eddie there having a little look at Etmil into turn uh, four. Uh, and here's the main talking point of this race, surely. Dell. Uh, here's the first thing he did, which was um, against Shaitan. And that, we thought at the time, could it be accidental? Perhaps his brakes aren't working, perhaps he's having lag. Uh, but surely, because we saw what he was doing later, which is this, surely it probably was on purpose. And there he does it again. He lets uh, Arjun by, just like he lets Shaitan by. And then, you have to say, if this is a full contact race, it will be a great... Great move, but this isn't a full contact race. This is fair play F1 racing, and that is absolutely uh, terrible. There is Lance. Uh, Lance's race, uh, you can see early in the race, battling with Pablinio. Uh, after he was on a two stopper, Pablinio on a three stopper, and Pablinio dived up the inside. Great pass from him there. Uh, Lance really needed to block him if he wanted that one to work, and it didn't quite. And here's another mistake from Lance. Uh, you see he goes very wide there, a bit of lag in our footage, and um, Mike Knight got past him and he never saw the back, never managed to repass Mike Knight again, so that was a key mistake from Lons. Eddie then, he had a great battle with Etmil in the first lap, so got past him there on the start of lap two. Um, and then later in the lap, later in the race, uh, Etmil got past, pa gets back past him on the outside there in the hairpin, so really good move from Etmil there. And then uh, just a few laps later again, uh, Eddie passes him again out of uh, those turns 16 to turn 17. Uh, here's a key moment for Eddie's race when he uh, managed to make a great outlap from the pits and get out in front of Pavlinio. That was a very key moment. And uh, here's another interesting moment when the front straight got very congested, three wide with Matic and Pink, who both hadn't pitted yet. And uh, that was a dangerous moment for him. And at times he seemed to be very close to Dede's pace, really closing up on him. And at other times, like the start of the race and the last stint, in the middle stint, he seemed to have a really good pace, but just couldn't keep it up over the whole race. Here's a moment for Pingu where he got hit behind by Lex. Um, yeah, that's the risk. It's much faster to park at the end of the pit lane, but then uh, you risk getting hit by others. And here's another key moment for Pingu when he got passed by Kilgoriki. Uh, he managed to get back past him later in the race with a better pit stop strategy. Um, but yeah, uh, that was a key moment earlier in the race. And here's another key moment for Pingu. Uh, you see, when he was trying to get past Shy Guy, 
uh, really getting blocked by Shy Guy. Not really illegally, as you can see. Let's see if Shy Guy makes just one move. Uh, see, oh, first of all, he was uh, looking to the inside. And the next lap, as we can see again, um, this one was a bit more extreme. Let's see if Shy Guy only makes one move. He moves to the inside, starts moving here. Yeah, he just moves once, uh, but just continues to move. Uh, Piggy wasn't side by side with him yet, so it was probably legal. And then uh, here's the final time they went side by side on the front stretch, and this time Chai Guy makes the move very early to the inside to show him what he's doing, and uh, Pingu just gets past on the outside, has much faster straight line speed on those new tyres. There's Alex's battle with Shy Guy late in the race, and uh, once again, yeah, Shy Guy seemed to just maybe break a bit too late and uh, hit Lex off, and it'd probably been a bit unfair if he hadn't uh, waited for him there. And uh, Lex probably showing his. Um, annoyance by having a lunge at Shy Guy into the final few corners and the Shy Guy waits for him at the end of the straight.